Marcus, we had another cool day today. Yes. And I think people are finally kind of getting used to it. You know, we're kind of rolling with the fall weather now. Yes, this has been really nice. The last Absolutely. couple of days has been great. Now, we're moving into the new work week for us, and unfortunately, we're not going to see much nice days like what we've had these last ah. few days. More rain is going to pick back up. We definitely need the rain, so glad that that's coming for us, and at yes. times it will be heavy. going to talk about that here in just a moment. Let's look at the high temperatures that we had this afternoon. It certainly was a mild day today below average, but a beautiful fall day. If you didn't mind the clouds that were around 68, the high in Longview this afternoon made it to 71 in Hemphill. We had 71 in Jacksonville, a little bit more sun off to our west and southwest 76 Crockett and in Sulphur Springs, Nacogdoches this afternoon at 73 degrees. Here's what we're looking at outside for us. Now we do have a few clouds around the thicker cloud cover is primarily over deep east Texas, where you'll notice temperatures here into the mid 60s, not going to drop too much more through the overnight. Now, where skies are mostly clear, upper 50s, even some mid and lower 50s, like 54 in Mineola, 55 in Mount Pleasant. Gilmer, you're at 56. Henderson at a temperature of 57. No precipitation in the area right now, but I do expect some to move in later on tonight and going into tomorrow morning. Live Doppler radar for us here at home is all good. Now we are watching a few showers that are coming through parts of the per uh, Persian Basin and also the Concho Valley there near San Angelo. Everything here is going to start to work its way to the east. Here's the bigger picture. All the clouds that we had today is due to a disturbance near the Baja Peninsula and more of these clouds are going to stream in. So I expect tomorrow to be a mostly if not a mainly cloudy day for us as we go throughout our Monday and some often on light showers. I've plotted on the upper level winds. You notice that they're moving from west to east. That's the motion of the clouds and where we're getting some of this moisture. Now later on tomorrow, we will see more Gulf moisture move in and that's going to set the stage for some heavy rain tomorrow night into Tuesday. Bus stop forecast for some of you that might have school for tomorrow. Many of you are probably off tomorrow for it being Columbus Day. 59 at 8 a.m. noon temperature is 71 and by 3 o'clock, a couple of showers will be around. Most of the rain chances mostly south of Interstate 20 during the day, but by tomorrow night it increases, especially for central and northern areas. So here's future cast showing most of that light rain over I 20 and points to the south. But watch what happens as we get into Monday night going into Tuesday. We're looking at some rounds of heavier rainfall to set up across East Texas. And when this rain starts, it might not let up for a little while. This is 1 a.m. Central and northern areas, especially getting in on some of this heavier rain. There's 3 a.m. We're looking at some pretty heavy showers, even some thunderstorms coming in. I don't expect any of this to be severe, though. There's no front in the area just yet. 7 a.m. on Tuesday morning, still looking at some rainfall coming through. There's 10 a.m. We'll get a break and some off and on showers will be with us. And then here comes the cold front as we get into Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. We'll see a few more showers and thunderstorms. For right now, I think we stay with a lot of clouds on Tuesday, so that's going to limit any severe potential. But any type of break in the cloud cover and some sunshine could lead to maybe a couple of isolated stronger thunderstorms Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning behind the front northerly winds drier air comes in once again and we'll have a cooler air mass as we move toward Wednesday. How much rain could we see? Well, we could be in for a lot of rainfall. Future cast really painting the picture of at least one to two inches. Very common. There will be some isolated amounts three, four, maybe even five inches of rain. We'll have to see where the heavier rain band set up, but between Monday night and Tuesday night, you can certainly certainly count on rain chances to be most likely and some of it will be heavy. This is beneficial rain that we need and of course we'll be watching it for you closely. Seven day forecast. So a slight rain chance during the day tomorrow if you're in our Tyler Longview Jacksonville areas and north of Interstate 20, but overnight Monday into Tuesday, that's when the rain will be likely off and on rain on Tuesday and then the cold front comes through. We drop to 69 for a temperature Wednesday afternoon. We'll end the work week dry, but a few more showers picking up Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. Here comes deep east Texas. You have some rain showers during the day tomorrow and then late tomorrow night going into Tuesday morning, especially we'll look for some thunderstorms to increase for you. Marcus, like you said, rain is kind of a good thing right now because it's very needed. Yes. So we're all right with this. Uh -huh. All right. Thank